All right, so we are just about ready to go to what's called a progressive dinner tonight. So we're going to be having dinner in the homes of three different local families. Uh, we have no idea what to expect from this, but it sounds really exciting. So yeah, couldn't be a better way to immerse ourselves in the culture. Yeah, we're looking forward to trying some local cuisine. And I think it'll just be a really interesting experience just kind of going into some people's homes and seeing what it's all about. So yeah, we will show you how dinner goes along the way. Hope my nose doesn't look as bad as I think it does in this. <laughs> Yep. Sunnies. Sunnies. Right. Let's see how we go. It's humid because it rained this afternoon. Ah, thank you, weatherman. <laughs> I have any panic checks. It's 5.35 and they're not here. That is definitely means for a panic attack. Cause for a panic attack. Mm, hopefully they're just running on island time. That or it was a scam. You will be having your dinner in three local homes tonight. The first one will be for your entree starter. The second one for your main course. And then Third one uh, for your dessert complement. Nice. Um, the the, the refreshing dinner is not only uh, you know designed to, for you to enjoy a meal, but we hope that by visiting some of the local homes, you, you get some idea of, of how we live, uh, and that's the main purpose. And uh, we plan to do it. I guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> Back for seconds if I need to, I'll try a bit of arrowroot. I'm so interested for this banana. I have a decent whack of that, I reckon. Yep. Thank you. Right on. Ooh, here we go. We've got banana salad, marinated fish, fish and arrowroot. Really? Yeah, Good? Like fish and the Like a lot of variety too. A lot of variety. All right, so we've just got to our second dinner place, and the meal is absolutely massive. They've given us all these like traditional island dishes. So yeah, pretty keen.
still hungry? Nope. Little history and enormous plate of dessert. Got pavlova, pineapple pie, chocolate cake, and cheesecake. Mm. Mm. I was explaining to some of the people I was uh, eating with uh, at our previous host about the progressive dinner. It's been going for about 12 years. Yeah. Uh, we, the idea of something like this is not something new I just thought of. But it's been with you for quite a while because the first progressive dinner experience I had was actually in Hawaii. To get that unique uh, experience, I think you do need that people. I call it people experience. So we just got back from the progressive dinner which we had with three different families across Rarotonga doing an entree, a main and a dessert. And it really is one of the most amazing ways we could immerse ourselves in the, in the Cook Islands culture by literally going into people's houses and having a meal with them in the way that they do. And they talk so much about how they love to have big groups of people in their home eating and it's really an exciting thing, thing for them that they haven't been able to do for a long period of time. Yeah, it was amazing. It was such a fun experience and just really nice to just sit in people's homes and hear a little bit about their lives. And, you know, when we first, at the first place we went to, we kind of did a bit of a round table about where we we're from and why we are in the Cook Islands now. And it was just really interesting hearing people's stories, you know, like I think for most of us, we're just like, you know, we've kind of been trapped in one place for a long time. So we're like, yep, let's get out and, and, you know, go see something new. But there are a couple of people that have been to Rarotong, you know, two, three times. There was a lady, I think this was her sixth yeah, time yep. or something like that. So it was just amazing. And yeah, just really nice just seeing how people live in this place. And I just don't think there's, you know, like Matt said, it's just like immersing yourself in their culture. At the last place we were at, the the driver who actually took us to these places um, runs like a whole tourism company here and he kind of explained a little bit about how he thought of this and why he brought it to the Cook Islands and he told us about, did you say 25 years ago or something uh, like that? The Hawaii yeah. thing, no, 40, 40 years. Wow, he didn't even look that old but anyway, <laughs> apparently 40 years ago he was in Hawaii and he was kind of with some people and they were just like, oh you know, we're just going to do like a a progressive dinner and he was like what is that and then he went along to all these people's houses and they were just kind of fed at every place and he sort of was like that is that would work amazingly in mm. Rarotonga we were the first group that they've had back since finishing like since 2019 mm. basically and it was just like such an incredibly like humbling experience to be there and be part of this first group of people that got to experience this again and you could just see how it meant a lot to them it just meant so much to them and it was yeah. just such a beautiful thing to be a part of um you could feel that you could actually feel the emotion like these people were just so happy to have us here and i think the effects of the pandemic in a little place like this you just don't know until you're sitting here and these dinners were enough to probably just keep them going and that's been taken from them for the last couple of years. So it was just, it, it felt really good to be a part of that experience for them as well. The way that these people talk about their families and being able to uh, have food and music with not just their families, but like their friends and their hugely extended families, like 60, 70, 80 people. Uh, it's kind of something that I think a lot of us are very out of touch with is the importance of people like even having um, family members buried on their mm. properties like family is just that important to them and you know uh, in the last place we were at as the the host of that particular house was finishing up he mentioned a couple of times there's some beds out the back if anyone wants them and everyone kind of laughed 
But like he was serious. Yeah. If if I had said, I oh, actually can I take one of those beds, he would have yeah. let me sleep there. Well, like I said, there's plenty room in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so it's that kind of like kindness and um, generosity that I wish we we're all a bit more in touch with across the entire world. This is just probably one of the best things I've probably done. I think it's just been such an amazing experience through all of our travels, hasn't it? Doing something like this is one of the best reminders of what traveling is all about and why you do it. Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree. Well, on that note, <laughs> hope you also enjoyed our progressive dinner and this is definitely something that I will be telling everyone about. I think yeah. if you are coming to the Cook Islands and Rarotonga, it was, we paid one ninety eight for both of us. It was yep. four hours, but we left full and happy. Like it was just such an incredible experience and I, it was absolutely worth every penny. And it's definitely the sort of thing we'll be looking for more in other places that we go. Yeah, definitely. So thank you for joining us. Thank you. Just uh, waiting for our ride. Are you filming the cop? Yeah. Okay. I will say no more. <laughs> <laughs>